day in Shotgun season here in Illinois. And the weather is not supposed to be all that great this weekend. We got a chance of rain today. Pretty windy. It's actually going to warm up some. And then tomorrow is supposed to just be rain and crazy high winds and rain. So I'm hoping today we can find one. Sunday's supposed to be beautiful, but I don't like hunting all three days. <laughs> but that'll break our streak. We've always done really good shotgun season here at the Grigsby, so we got the whole crew here though. We got Randy, Jamie, Chris Ramsey. Somebody ought to do some good this morning. We're in a dang good spot, I know that. Got him. Shooter. Yes or no? Yes or no? That's the big eight, baby. When I say get ready, I mean get ready. That's the big eight. Hey. I mean, dang, dude. <laughs> I love whitetail hunting. But damn it. There are a lot of things in life that we are not good at, and I especially am not good at, but whitetail hunting is something I'm good at. <laughs> Give us what up, baby. We had fun on that one. We could have shot him with a bow. <laughs> dude, he come right off that ridge. Dang! <laughs> oh. And I'm not laughing at a disrespect or anything like that. It's just we spend so much time in the fall trying to get a six-year-old deer like that to walk out, you know? And then opening morning, like 30 seconds into it, I go, hey, I'm going to rattle because I'm bored. Duck. <laughs> I hope Uncle Randy, Jamie, and Chris... They all kill one too, and I think they will. Weather's good. Um, my son asked me last night, he said, when you coming home, Dad? I said, as soon as I kill a buck. He said, well, you need to kill one in the morning. <laughs> Michael, you called it. The buck was standing there when I shot him, and he ran straight up our cut trail. And I've got the recoil sitting right up there because we drove pretty close to standing this morning just thinking we could you know, get in here quieter that way. So I'll take his pack off. Throw a shell on my gun because you never know. And uh, just leave this sitting here because once we find him, I'm going to just drive down in here and get her. So, <sighs> big buck recovery. Here we go. My wad's right here. <laughs> he was standing right there. Wad, he was so close, the wad actually flew past the deer. That's pretty close. Lots of blood. Look at all this up top. Oh yeah, he opened up now. That's gotta be him laying down there. I just can't tell. Yeah, he stinks. <laughs> that is a rutted up big Illinois whitetail right there. I got him, buddy. 
Look at the body on that thing. I'm clear. Man, that's that old eight footer. Look at that deer. Yeah. Well, I've been killing old eight points the last couple years here. It's Grigsby, and there's another one. But this deer is six years old. I know the deer. And, you know, the, to me, it really doesn't matter the size of the rack at all. When you kill a six or seven year old deer, you've killed the monarch of the woods. And that's what we did with this deer. I got tons of trail cam pictures of him. Uh, man, he's rutted up. You can hardly sit next to him. He smells so bad. And he's the scrapper in the neighborhood because I hit the horns together and he came. <laughs> oh, look at that deer. Wow. Heck of a deer. I'm tagged out bucking a doe. Here in Illinois, the doe is laying about 50 yards down the hill right there. So we got two good deer in about an hour. <laughs> Perfect, man.